עוד מעט נשמע את הגאון האדיר, אני לא יודע אם יש מילים, מספיק מילים כדי לתאר פשטות ואת הענווה ואת הצניעות לצד הידע המקיף בגיל כל כך צעיר. אבוי זעמנו סתם הרב שהוא גאון ישראל, קוידש קודושים, מגיע אלינו פה לחזק אותנו. רק הרב רנוק השליטה, זה מה שעובד בדור שלנו, שמכניס לנו אור, אור ליהודים, אור לכל עם ישראל, זה מה שאנחנו צריכים היום בדור הזה. הרב כשהוא מגיע לדור, כל מילה שלו זה קודש קודשים, זה בדיוק דמרות. and others practicing Judaism amongst you, the emergent Israeli sensation Yannicka Rav Shlomo ben Yehuda is touted to be the Messiah of prophecy manifest. And according to prophecy, this Messiah will number one, bring the world order of Edom down in violent and bloody destruction. Edom, of course, being described as America and the Western powers by the word of your own rabbis and leaders. Number two, This Messiah will liberate the Israelite people from the current Edomite world order led by America and the Western powers. Number three, this Messiah will be declared king by his people for world dominion. And lastly, number four, this Messiah will gather the people in the land before the state government, a monarchy is restored. So with that in mind, Are we supposed to believe that Yannicka Rav Shlomo Ben Yehuda will accomplish all of these things against America and the Western powers? And not one single world government's gone DEFCON 3 on this Jew yet? Nary an alarm raised. No international security organizations issuing warnings. Not even a special homeland security watch list category for he and his followers. Zero hit pieces from any major news outlets? And by the looks of it, it doesn't seem like Edom is the least bit threatened. Like at all. I mean, considering that this is allegedly the guy to make the current world system go belly up, I'd say that these world governments are taking it rather well. Because currently what we see is Edom continuing to mobilize support for his real state, who is providing residence for the presumed revolutionary messiah. Yannicka Rav Shlomo. Now, I don't know about you, but this, to me, does not sound like the prophetic arrival of the Messiah at all. Actually, it looks a lot like Beatrix. I mean, after all, from what captivity do Jewish people need salvation from anyway? What holes and prison houses can we find Jewish people crammed in for the past 400 years? But please, really, 
Explain how this guy is the prophetic rising star of Jacob to usher in the fall of Edom. The vengeful slayer returning from a bloody slaughter in Basra. The rock to raise Nebuchadnezzar's statue to the ground. And no rush. By all means, take your time.